Hi, welcome to Gear Garage. I'm a Zach. This is my funny little internet show about white water things. And today we'll talk about what I call the rope storage knot, although I don't think it's really called that. I'm not sure if it has a name. But when I run my boats, I put a bow line on the stern and the bow. And I do that so that when I, you know, if I pull into an idea, I can jump out and grab the boat by the, the rope by the rope really fast, or I can tie it up to a tree. As somebody who does primarily overnight trips, I need ropes to tie my boats to trees. So the bow line is especially useful for that, whether it's a camp or a lunch or whatever. And that's what I've learned. And you know, bow lines on boats aren't perfect. I mean, they're basically, you know, on the end of your boat, they are hand entrapments and leg entrapments. So, you know, there's, there's some trade-offs here. You know, you're kind of, you're violating the clean line principle, which I very much believe in by having these things of ropes hanging down. And so I just want to go over really quick what I do. Um, this isn't for everybody uh, and I'm looking to get better. So if you have comments or how to do this better, I'm certainly into it. Uh, and, and the reason I'm doing this episode now is because I was at the wind festival last weekend. I did the wind race and my knot I used to tie this came undone while we were racing. Like big no-no because then there's rope in the water. And so my penance for making that mistake is to do an episode where I teach you how to do what I should do better and show where I made my mistake. So what I do is I make coils about this big and you know I coil it on my arm because it's quick and it's easy. One of the issues of coiling around your arm is that you're going to end up with the rope gets like little kinks in it and things uh, between where the coil is and the boat. And you know, unfortunately, I had this bad habit I've been doing forever that I can't break where I coil it in my arm like this from the end of the rope to the boat. And then what happens, like I said, is it gets little, this gets all kinked up. What I probably should be doing is starting on this end and working my way out or doing nice little hand coils and I need to practice that more. But anyway, once I get to here, I have this nice like loop or rope that's a good size and then I do some number of wraps. Usually I try to get to three like that and I take a bite. When I tell me to take a rope and make it like that, it's called a bite. I stick a bite through this hole like that and then up and around the rope like that. And you have a nice store bit of rope stored. Now your goal is to make this as short as you can. So if the D-ring is here, you want to make this distance small so it just kind of barely hangs. You know, you don't want this to be like this and flapping around. And so when I did my bow line at the wind festival the other day, I probably did it pretty quickly and didn't make it tight and it somehow came free. So I got to remind myself, and I should know this after 25 years of boating, you know, I shouldn't be making this mistake, but I did, is every time I do it, I make it super tight. And so when you do it, take a minute, get it on there, make sure it's stable so it doesn't come undone because that rope that's just splayed out in the water is an entrapment. Somebody could fall out, get tangled in it. It's definitely a danger. So anytime you're using this knot, you want to keep it tight. So that's what I call the rope storage knot. I'm pretty sure that's not the real name for it. If you know the real name, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you like this method, awesome, let me know. I'm guessing some of you may think, no, this is terrible which I want to hear because this is something I've always done and I would love to hear advice on how to do it better. And there are ways to do it better. This is the, the best I found for commercial boating and probably and when I private boat as well. So that's it. See you next time.